Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to another video. Today's topic is relax. Enjoy the process of becoming. Enjoy the process of becoming. So often, again, from our programming, our beliefs from a very young age, we are led to believe, we're programmed to think that we've got to be in a hurry. That we need to achieve and do all the things and be everything to everybody and go all the places and have it happen as quickly and as fast as and intensely as possible. But you know that that's not true. And you know it's not sustainable, nor is it healthy. And the important thing for you and, of course, myself, because when I'm speaking to you in this video, I'm speaking to myself, of course, as well, is that we've got to remember, you've got to remember, that the journey, it never ends. The journey never ends. That this is an ongoing cycle, an ongoing process of growth, of exploration, of new experiences, of reliving past experiences, um, failing over and over, feeling the pain of loss, the grief, uh, you know, of tragedy and depression, despair, and love, and joy, and pleasure, and excitement, and fulfillment. It's the whole spectrum. It's what life is. That this journey of life, it never ends. So what I want to impart and remind you of is that there's always going to be something next or something else. That while we're here on planet Earth living this human life, this existence, there's always going to be something next that you want, that you desire, that you want to achieve, places you want to go, things you want to do, relationships you want to attract in your life, things you want to create. And that's never going to stop and it's the nature of the life journey, the reality that we're living. It never gets done. It never gets done and you're never finished. And I've been talking a lot in my videos lately about Abraham Hicks and this is kind of one of the things that she talks about too. It never gets done and it's never you're never finished. It never gets done and you're never finished. So, an example of this and what I mean and I think she means or at least my interpretation of it is when you achieve a goal, there's going to be another one. When you you have this situation in life, that you've worked so hard for and it's come to this peak moment and experience and you've had this huge breakthrough. There's always this period after, I guess the word that comes to my mind is like this refractory period or this reflective period where you kind of feel kind of lost. You know, when you, you've probably experienced this in your life, you've achieved a big goal or you've done something great, a great accomplishment. It's taken you years or whatever the time frame was, but it was a lot of time and effort and you achieved this goal, there's always this period for X amount of days, weeks, months, whatever, maybe years afterwards where you sit there and you go, okay, what next? Like, okay, this has been my focus for so long. I've worked so hard at this and now I got here. And there's this little period of where we're like, well, what's next? What's going on? Sometimes we know exactly what that is and we keep moving forward, but it's important for us to ground into this post-achievement period, I'll call it, so that we can give ourselves credit for all the hard work and achieving that accomplishment and give ourselves time to ground into who we've become in the process of achieving that goal. And in that grounding into the process or grounding into the new version of us that we've created, a new clarity emerges on what is next. But the reminder again is to slow down, to relax, that there's no rush in this life to achieve anything because just like after you achieve that last big goal in your life or this big moment, there was a period in which you needed to clarify something on what was next. And so it never gets done because then when you achieve that goal, there's going to be another period where you're like, well, what's next? Well, what's next? It's how we live. So the the value that I want to share with you is that we've got to be patient with ourselves, relax, 
and enjoy this journey, enjoy the process of it. And if you're like me, God, you must be hearing uh, sick of hearing that because you know it, but yet we resist it that you've got to enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. And you're just like, I hate the process though. Oh my God, my life's in shambles. Everything's burning down. I hate it. How can I enjoy this process, right? So knowing it never gets done and that there's always going to be something else, it is. It's about embracing the process because each challenge, each tragedy, each triumph, it's all part of the experience. And when we learn to embrace all of our experience, especially the tragedies, especially the betrayal, the grief, the loss, the despair, the sadness, uh, the loneliness, whatever, the negative emotions, when we learn to embrace all of that, that's real power. That is you really being in your power and transcending your circumstances. That is you being your highest self. That is you creating the absolute life you desire, knowing that pain is an inevitable part of this life, the tragedies along with the triumphs, and that that entirety of both the tragedy and the triumphs is our life experience. And so it never gets done. So the example I was going, I was alluding to about how it never gets done is imagine this, you know, your, your goal is to make your first million. Maybe you've already made your first million. You're on to your the, you know, the 10 million or the 100, 100 million or the billion dollar mark, whatever it is for you watching this. When you, I'll use the example of becoming a millionaire, right? Cause I'm not, I haven't created my first million yet I'm in the process of it. But when I create that million dollars, you know what? There's going to be something else. Okay. I made a million bucks and I, I am financially free and I have a successful business. I got all this time on my hands and I got money, I can go and travel and do all these things, great. Okay, now I've experienced all that stuff. Okay, what's next? There's gonna be a point in what's next? What else? Okay, you have the relationship you want. You're in this amazing heaven on earth relationship that you've worked so hard to manifest, all the healing that you've done with yourself, the work, putting yourself out, out there, the vulnerability. Okay, now you're with this person and life is incredible. What next? Now you've achieved, you've overcome so many health issues. You've cured all the dis-ease, the disease, dis-ease, the lack of harmony in your body. And you've created this wonderful, healthy, fit, sexy, aesthetically pleasing body and you're super stoked. So what's next? So you see my point? When you achieve that goal, there will be another goal. And so again, the reminder that it bears repeating is to relax, to enjoy the process of becoming, to embrace the light and the dark. That's wholeness. That's when we're truly centered. That's when we're in our highest self. That is when we are living our purpose. Because when you can embrace the light and embrace the dark, the good and the bad, and it's both sides, what happens if you have dark and light up and down, right and left, male and female, but you're living in the center, what does that mean? When you can embrace both of that, the tragedy and the triumph, and you're living in the center and you're cool with both of them, where are you? You're centered. Where is your higher self? It's not on one of the extremes, it's when you're balanced, when you're in the middle. Now you're present because you're not here or there on the good or the bad, the right or the wrong, the light or the dark. You're right in the middle, you're present. And when you're present, now you're your higher self because you're here with your entire experience. So slow down and remember that the process never ends. Remember the journey never ends. Remember that when you achieve that goal, give yourself grace and credit, accomplishment, love to relish in your achievement and all the hard work it took. And remember to enjoy the process because that's really what it's about because again, it never ends. So especially when it's tough, if it's tough for you right now, learn to embrace this because it won't always be like this. You know that. Never, it hasn't been always like this. Your life has not always been like this. It's been a series of ups and downs and you are creating the life that you want. So enjoy the process. Sometimes that creation, we, 
are led down a path of less desirable circumstances, right? We're broke or we're lonely or we got, you know, whatever it is, or you're suffering from health problems or whatever it is. Embrace all of it. That is the human experience. That's what we're here for. That is your power. So knowing it never gets done, there's no rush. Relax. There's always something else. And when you relax and quit trying to rush through things because you're embracing both sides of the experience, you're centered. Now you can be present and enjoy everything and move through and actually attract more quickly what it is you want to you because now you're not operating on a side of extreme. You're in the center. Each challenge, each tragedy, each triumph, it's all part of the experience. When we learn to embrace all of our experience, we are our highest selves, our highest version. This is what wholeness is. That feeling of unity, of oneness, of we are all connected. You're operating from a centered, heart-centered, open, vulnerable place. This is really for if you are anxious or overwhelmed right now or you're feeling lonely or you're super broke or you're experiencing some hardships or whatever I'm just here to remind you of the process that you're in of becoming right now and you're experiencing that hardship because when you're on the other side you're going to look back and go oh my god I remember when I was on my last dollar and boom this happened or whatever and now you're living in this a beautiful house and making more money than you ever have. You're super financially stable. You're going to look back and go, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I remember what it's like. So you're embracing both sides of the experience. We won't always want to deny and reject the part of the experience that's quote unquote negative because it's not pleasurable. It's not fun, right? I mean, you'd rather get hugged and then slapped or hopefully, but it's just a reminder to, again, relax. Don't rush yourself. Be patient and forgiving. Learn the lessons you need to learn. Do what you're guided to do, but stay centered, stay calm, stay focused, knowing that this too shall pass. So the quotes I'll leave you with today. Uh, Trust the weight. Embrace the uncertainty. Enjoy the process of becoming. Enjoy the process. Embrace your entire experience. Then you're really in your power. Now you're really creating from the gap, the void, that centered place, unattached. And then, of course, you've heard this before, the cliche, but the journey is the destination. So be patient with yourself. Enjoy the hero's journey, as it were. If you watch a movie and there's no ups and downs, you don't really build a relationship with any of the characters because they're just crushing it and you're like, all right, I'm bored, this is stupid. It's those hard moments, right? This The classic story arc that every single story we ever watch, especially in Western culture, goes through. It's the up, it's the hero's journey. It's like, okay, you started from the starting point. You had a tragedy happen. You dipped down. You built yourself back up. There was a climax or a peak moment. And then now that peak moment came to a resolution. That's the process. That's the ups and the downs. That's you working towards your goal, achieving your goal in that post-achievement period. And now you're going to go back up again. That's where we're at so when you learn to embrace all of this you're at a centered peaceful place and it makes the hardships more bearable and probably helps you move through them more quickly and then it makes those times where things are great even that much sweeter because it's putting things in perspective so that's what i got for you today relax trust the process enjoy the process it never gets done So quit trying to rush, just be centered, be present, and regardless of what your external circumstances are, whatever's going on in your life, just accept it, embrace it, surrender to it. This is us being human. Love you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.